Hello and today I'm going to be doing a drawing. So can you take a guess of what the size is? Size of a normal piece of paper? Maybe something smaller, the size of a card? Maybe the size of a dollar bill? Well actually what I'm drawing today is smaller than a quarter. And what I'm going to be doing is trying to draw a portrait with stippling. And the goal is to make it the size of this penny, no larger. So what I'm going to do here is place the penny there to give an idea of the size that we're working with here. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and get a pen. And the one I have here, it's a technical pen. Probably have a hard time seeing it because the focus is, um, I have it locked onto the paper. Otherwise, you won't be able to see the drawings I'm going to be doing. So I don't have any reference photo or anything for this. I'm just going to make up something and from then on just work into the stippling and see what I can make. So I wonder how this is going to go because I don't think I've ever drawn anything this small. So I'm going to actually keep the penny right here so that I know to keep my drawing within that size within that area because as I'm looking at this from my DSLR um, I don't really have a whole lot of room here because the the area on the paper I don't want to be drawing outside of the the focus area so let's see here so the first thing I'm gonna do Oh man, this is tiny. I'm looking up at the screen on my DSLR and I can see it better than when I'm looking at it on the paper. I'm actually not even using a magnifying glasses or anything. I've got my glasses on, that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself a little dot. Actually lower my microphone so you can hear me because I have to get closer to the paper because from where I was, I couldn't even see anything. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, now, move this forward, and we should be good. Now, what I'm going to do is actually put a little dot here in the center. So I know exactly where the center of focus for the camera is. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see here. I'm trying to think of what, where I want to start with this. First thing I'm going to do is try to stipple the side of the, where the, I think the face would be. Gonna be the kind of the side of the face. I'm gonna come up. That's gonna be the eye area. Now I'm not actually even looking up at my DSLR right now because of my DSLR is a lot bigger. So I don't know how this looks on your end yet. Like to me, I, I can barely see the dots for where I'm at. At all. I'll have to take a measurement of this, see how big this is when I'm done. This is a too very tiny drawing. I think. There's a bunch of snow outside right now. It's like three feet of snow today. It was pretty crazy. There's such tiny dots. I wonder, I wonder if I can draw this while looking at my screen. My DSLR. Not quite because it seems like it's slightly behind real time. Then, the center of the eye. Pen. 
pen wasn't one to write. Okay. As you can see, when I move the paper just slightly, just pressing down, it changes focus. That's how close I have this set. You can see a little tiny splinter in my finger. Okay. So now I've got the eye done, mostly. So I can't really see too much detail from where I'm at. Let's see here. I'm trying to set my microphone up because whenever I put my microphone... Oh my goodness. Probably heard all kinds of noise when I did that. There we go. Maybe you can hear me better now. Got that there. More stippling. I wonder how much smaller I could draw if I really tried. I'm, I might need a magnifying glass or something and be able to see what I'm even doing. I wonder how bad this looks <laughs> because this is so tiny. I mean, it doesn't take long to stipple it, that's for sure. Because you know, when you have a big drawing, it just takes so long to stipple things. <laughs> okay, so I've got most of the face done. Let's see, I could come down. Okay, I could come down where her lips are now. Got that shadow in. Now I just gotta stipple that. Okay. I need to do this for practice. I have to get better at this. <laughs> I think if I can get better at drawing these tiny little drawings, then. I should be able to do larger drawings a lot better. I mean, I would I would at least think so. Because of the hand control and everything required. Oh, the sniffles again. Okay, I got the shadows in the face. I'm gonna come down, get the chin part. Yeah, I think it's going to be really cold tomorrow. It's supposed to be, I think they said below zero. Something like that. But it's going to be really cold. And I'm off of work tomorrow, so I'm going to be drawing all day. I think I'm going to try more of these tiny drawings and see what I can make. I've, I've got to figure out a way to get closer to the paper without being in the way of the DSLR. That's going to be a challenge. I think if I had a finer tipped pen, that would help too. I mean, it's a point zero five, but I think I need a smaller tipped pen than that. Now I'm going to come up and get the eyebrows. That's done. I don't want to take to do an entire drawing like this, but like this tiny, but it's cover up you know, a standard um, sheet of paper. You know, the 9 by 12 inch paper. I wonder how long that would take. I imagine quite a while. I, I think it would probably take me a, maybe a week. Depends on how detailed I go, you know. So, I gotta get the. So, I got that on there. Gotta add some stippling where I assume the ear would be. I'm not sure if the proportions are proper on this, but. Here we go. 
There's some shading on the left side of the forehead. My proportions okay, <laughs> even though I I'm having such a hard time seeing this. I mean, on my DSLR, the on the screen on the right, I can see it much better, but there seems to be like a, just a slight delay between the screen and the actual drawing. So <laughs> oh. I looked up online this guy that did this drawing. It was like a piece of art that was the size of three microns. And it was so, something about it was so small, it was smaller than the size of a red blood cell. It was pretty, pretty tiny. Yeah, whenever I push the paper down, you can see, like, you can tell it goes from being blurry to, like, you know, it's clear right there. That's how small of an area of focus I have to work with here. It's within a half a millimeter, so not a whole lot of room for error here. But yes, I will probably in the near future do an entire drawing where the entire drawing is all as tiny as this, but to cover up an entire piece of paper. Now that's going to be a pretty good challenge to try. Now I've got to get some shading underneath the right eye where the light doesn't catch. I'll come out a little bit more on the face here. Okay, there's that. Now I've got to get that right ear drawn in. And the right side's mostly in light, more so than the left side. The left side's going to be mostly in shadow. So I'm going to darken that side up a little bit more. And then I need to get that line that goes up over the eye. I'll give it that shape around it. And then we're going to work up to this part. Some shading over there. And now I'm trying to think of what to add in the top. Maybe, I'm not sure, maybe a hat or something. I'm trying to think of what I should add on that. It's kind of hard for me to to actually talk while I'm so focused on trying to make these tiny little dots. I really don't know how I keep getting these splinters in my finger. I don't know where they come from. But I get them out of my finger and I don't really, like my finger's never hurting. I don't know what it, what, what the issue is. But anyways, let's see here. Should I give him an earring? Uh, no, it's not, let's not do that. Let's do, let's give this person, oh, I'm trying to think what to add, because I can't really add the body underneath it because it's too tiny. There's no room for that. I think I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them a hat. I'm going to give them like a top hat. How's that? How's that work? <laughs> I'm trying to think. I mean, a top hat's pretty easy to draw. It's just like a simple shape it's almost like a square and just kind of go like this and then I've got that in
Yeah, it says it's going to come out more. I mean, there's light coming in this direction to it. But I don't want it too dark or too light in some areas because I don't want to put too many dots because I don't have a whole lot to work here. A lot to work with in such a small area. Just the very top of the half, just barely in the frame of the drawing. So I'm still within my goal. I mean, I'm actually surpassing my goal because I'm probably not going to add anything below here. So I have all that space, but on the top it's only going over like a tiny, tiny bit. Because if I move the camera up some, I would still be within that frame. So we're moving along here. We're moving along. Has anybody else ever tried this tiny drawing stuff? Let me know um, of any pens that have a smaller nib than the point zero five. I want something super tiny. So yes, I just don't know what else to add to this. <laughs> oh, it's so tiny. Look at this little tiny drawing. It's like... Like, here's, here's the end of my pen, okay? And that's the drawing. Like, here's my finger. It's like twice the size of the drawing. Okay, let's see here. Um, I'm trying to see what I, I need to add anywhere. Maybe a little bit more around the nose for the... That. And then come down through here. More for the face. Need more shadow on that side. A little bit more shadow on the side of the cheek. To find that more on the left side of the head there. Where it's in shadow um, on the left side of the top hat. I want to give a little bit of structure to that left side where the skull is. And this is going to come down in shadow slightly, but not much. Because of the shape of the skull. So then. There's that. Now I'm trying to think what I should add to that. I can't really think of anything. Um, I think I'm just going to write my name. But I'm going to try and see if I can draw small enough on here. To where. It's still within the frame. Just barely moving my table, and this is like going all over the place. Okay, so this is gonna be the tough part because I have to draw my name so tiny. Okay, so I want to make the writing on this smaller than what is on the penny here. I mean, and I could do that. That's like it's easy here. Here we go. I'm gonna put my channel name on here. Trying to think of what space uh, I got plenty of space over here. I'm just checking to make sure that I'm still within the frame of the camera so that you can see it and it's still in the video. I should hold my breath when I did that. <sighs> okay, now I just gotta write down the artwork part. I'm gonna be silent for like the next minute or two while I write this. Okay, here we go. Okay. Is that legible? You can read that, can't you? Okay. Um, what else should I write on here? Oh, I know what I'm gonna write. <laughs> I'm gonna make this as the thumbnail. So, 
I'm gonna write something a little bit larger. <laughs> there we go micro art I guess that's what I'm gonna call this that's what this series is gonna be for all my tiny drawings that I do that are the size of a penny or something I'm gonna try and do something smaller next time but first I gotta think of if there's anything else I could add to this I'm trying to think here what could I possibly add what could I possibly add I'm gonna write some other stuff over here. Okay, micro. Oh, I had an idea. I had a brilliant idea. Well, I don't know if it's a brilliant idea, but it's an idea. It's like the little cloud thing from when people are speaking. <laughs> see if I can get the focus better on this now it's gonna go blurry for a minute but then it's gonna go back to normal so okay there we go fixed it it was just slightly out of focus so yeah there's uh, my doodle <laughs> my micro art doodle and um yeah if you have any questions about this go ahead and let me know in the comments below and let me know if you have any more suggestions about anything you'd like me to go ahead and doodle but for now i'm gonna go ahead and uh think of something else i can doodle or draw that's really tiny i think one thing i want to really try to really challenge myself to do is to be able to draw an entire portrait that is realism no not quite hyper realism I, i'd have to have a super tiny tent like super super tiny pen to do that but i want to do a realistic portrait drawing with stippling sometime that is micro art tiny like this and i want it to look like a, like a photo like realistic but let me know if there's any pens out there that are tiny enough to do that and I'll go ahead and try them out, I'll do a review of them, and then I can go ahead and try and do a drawing. But until then, I mean, until I get a pen that's smaller than the, the nib on this, I mean, it's a tiny nib on the pen, but I need a nib that is smaller than that on a pen for me to be able to do a drawing that tiny, because whenever I go to draw on the paper, I notice that the ink, it like feathers out just slightly, and that really is affecting my line width. If I had some way to completely prevent there from being any feathering at all, that was fun. And go ahead and let me know if there's anything you'd like me to draw in my next series of micro art. This will be added to a playlist. And if you want to check that out, just go ahead and look at it on my playlist, which is on my channel. I've got different ones on there. I'm currently organizing them at the moment because I have so many different videos. But I'm trying to categorize them into different things. But this will be my micro art series, and I'll be working on a lot more of these. So you have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. And keep creating and don't give up. You have a good day. Thank you for watching.